Yeah, tell me. Let the recording begin. Okay, yes. everything is ready. Yeah, so I was discussing like the main purpose of this uh, meeting is to guide, uh, especially those people like who are freshers or like who want to like switch in BIM. Okay. And uh, some people, they think uh, like there are no jobs right now in BIM. Okay. As a freshers, every, every company is hiring minimum for like two years of experience. Okay. I see like a lot of messages and a uh, lot of like methodologies. Some candidates, they will apply uh, to get the job. But we need to know like uh, what was your experience and how you applied the job and how you got uh, like uh, this much of salary. Because uh, in terms of salary also, there are some uh, like a lot of things. Okay. So different people will say like different kind of things. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I see yeah. some freshers, uh, they get uh, range between 20 to 30. Okay. Even whether they are yeah. diploma or whether they are like uh, engineer, bachelors. But what was your journey? Mm -hmm. So we need you to guide the people. Okay. Especially the freshers and other people what was your journey and how mm -hmm. the also the learning things from the BIM skills help you okay uh, to get this okay, okay yeah okay so hi everyone I'll start with my journey like uh, I passed out in 2021 and uh, I haven't heard about this BIM thing in my entire uh, engineering career and uh, after pass out, uh, I started preparation for the government jobs. Like I started preparing for the bank job. And uh, after one year, I realized that uh, uh, it's, a, it's not for me. I, I was not interested in that thing. So mm -hmm. I started uh, searching for the jobs in civil engineering. And I found that uh, BIM is something that is a future of civil industry. And I started searching uh, any coaching and all for this. And uh, I wasted a lot of money uh, in searching of this thing. Like uh, I joined a coaching in Delhi. Uh, and uh, means it was a lockdown time. And uh, I started my coaching online. And uh, in, uh, in the name of BIM, they, like, they taught only the rabbit thing. Like walls, doors, windows. They haven't taught me the fundamentals of BIM, what is actually BIM and how they are working, how the industry is adopting the BIM. So I wasted my money and uh, same all, as like all the freshers who are struggling in this field like to learn this thing BIM. I was also mm -hmm. one of them who struggled a lot and uh, and uh, while I was uh, searching in LinkedIn, I found uh, uh, Sayed sir and uh, I was I just contacted him like uh, what is BIM and all uh, mm -hmm. actually I doubted on him also like uh, uh, is he fake or what <laughs> so uh, and uh, we we talk uh, like two to three times about this then I joined a demo lecture then I trusted him and uh, I joined the lectures and all and uh, in, for, it was very nice means uh, from the scratch he was teaching and uh, it's been like one year now uh, from, I have started and all the fundamentals what uh, he taught helped me in the finding the job like in other institute it's not like that uh, they will teach only the softwares and all but he taught me from the scratch like what actually BIM is and how it is implementing in the, uh, so uh, actually uh, joined to many different institute also uh, where in the BIM, name of BIM, they taught me something else and took some money. Uh, but uh, here only I have learned all about the basics and advanced technologies. And the uh, tool test he have given me uh, uh, is very helpful. And uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I did some mistakes like uh, I was not that sincere I means uh, mm -hmm. from the starting. And uh, that was my mistake. Otherwise, I have uh, I would have been in the job. Uh, from the past means after uh, four or five months only but mm. it's been one year yeah. what i did uh, like uh, i was not sincere means i was not studying regularly and all i just uh, 
go through the videos and all live videos and i don't used to practice it properly but uh, when the time of uh, job and all means i was searching for the job uh, i found myself that my portfolio is not good some means i was lacking in my portfolio basically when i i used to apply like uh, in different companies uh, i did not get any reply from them like uh, so i realized that uh, i have some mistakes in my portfolio so uh, even i used to talk with the sir like uh, he used to guide me uh, continuously uh, whenever i need him he used to uh, pick up the phone and explain the what i was lacking so the main thing was the portfolio which uh, i was lacking like uh, as a fresher we used to, what we used to do like uh, we make a model in revit and uh, we render it and so it like uh, it's my bim project and all but it's not like that I means you need some details and all you need what means lods and all you have to show in your portfolio so i realized and i added some things like uh, lods i added and uh, like uh, from lod 100 to lod 500 how it will look like and also i have created some families like and i have put it in the my portfolio the formulas which i have uh, mentioned i also took the snap and uh, put it in the portfolio and uh, also the uh, how i created the para- parametric families i have mentioned it in the portfolio only and uh, i have also uh, mentioned all the tools as which i have given for the different companies It's like what they need i have put it in the portfolio only even the project which uh, sayed sir gave i have put it in. so uh, when i updated my portfolio now so after uh, 10 to 15 days uh, i was uh, means able to get the calls from the hrs and all so the main thing i was liking in the portfolio only and uh, many people used to message me in the linkedin like uh, how you get got the job and all so i used to uh, guide them about the this portfolio thing because the main thing is that only and also the second thing is uh, you have to regularly update uh, your works on uh, linkedin you have to post uh, it so that you will be noticed from the different companies or the hr it will be good uh, for your uh, the selection process only yeah you can check out like what uh, when i did from the starting uh, first of all uh, he learned like what exactly beam is but he was also not sincere at the initial stages yeah. and you know this is happening this happens yeah. with most of the candidates okay yeah and uh, you also doubted that uh, the training is okay perfect for you or no okay uh i suggest for all of you people like you should have a mentor that is the important thing mm-hmm. okay if you have the mentor you, your like way of working will be easy okay whatever maybe unnecessary things you are doing if you are in touch with like mentor okay for me also i need one mentor okay without mentor anybody okay if, if they want to go to some place it is difficult for us so like as when i said like uh, he joined the training but at the initial stages he was not sincere that is not do i'm openly <laughs> saying this one yeah. from the starting stage of the training or whatever wherever you are doing it is it should be you should be like sincere about your things mm-hmm. okay see we are not doing some rocket science okay so this is not that much like difficult but if you study okay then it is very easy for you so first thing yeah. because some uh, candidates like who are doing the training they also join that is why i'm getting this one so you should be sincere from the starting time okay if, and by watching the videos you will not okay it is not uh, it is not like you will not learn by watching for example if i need to drive a car okay if i watch some videos on youtube so i'll mm-hmm. i'll not be able to learn right because this is a skill yeah. okay education is something you can just watch the videos and you can add those sentences in your mind but skill okay unless and until you practice you will not get that okay and it takes yeah. time i suggest this things for all the candidates like for developing skills it takes certain time but you know like first uh, at the starting for driving a car it, it takes certain time or to, okay to understand the system but as time goes mm-hmm. what happens your mind will be free and easily you can just drive a car without any pressure okay so the skill yeah. this 
BI, MySQL, whatever it is. Okay, the skill development is also the same thing. So we can just off the video, maybe. Okay. So this is one thing. So then when I like he started like studying the things. Okay. Uh, so I think this year only you started studying, right? Yeah. yeah. You started studying the like, concentrating. Then uh, mm. what he did is he was just uh, uh, and one one more thing because here you will be provided with the job guidance from the starting level. So only thing is you need to implement. If you implement those things after the six months, then it is it will it takes time. If you are like what we needed, he built the connections on LinkedIn. So like when I what he did, he started posting okay on LinkedIn recently, not just just yeah. modeling and doing the rendering. He posted about you can go to his profile. He posted about the details on LinkedIn, like about LODs. LOD, what is the difference between LOD 100, 200, 300, 400, 500? Exactly like we need to check out here like what companies needs. See what uh, what is the problem in the industry? We learn as per the institutes required. Okay, that is not good. We need to learn as per the company's requirement. So now, for example, when I, I talk with him, he joined the company. In that company, they started implementing BIM. So now they want one person who actually understands what BIM is. Right? Is it is it correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so for example, if I take one person who actually like don't know about BIM, then how can we how can the companies hire? And again, because the start the nowadays in India the companies are started started like implementing BIM. Okay, mm -hmm. so now the companies needs the BIM professional. They don't want Revit professional. They, some companies like already they are implementing Revit. Okay, but the companies wants to understand what BIM is. So they want certain candidates who exactly know what BIM is. Okay, so yeah. what is the meaning of LODs? What is the meaning of BIM execution plan? What is the meaning of BIM standards? So what? But what we do is we learn only Revit, hmm. right? Yes. So as he suggested, like what you should do is you should start like developing some community, right? On LinkedIn. So mm -hmm. at the starting level, he like when I used to like apply for the job, but uh, you are not getting any responses, right? Yeah. yeah. At the for, starting uh, level. three months, I was not getting any response. Hmm. For three months, you didn't get any response. But right. after that, what you did, you started posting. Yeah. Hmm. So you started posting about LODs, uh, the images from the Revit model or something like that. Hmm. Even he created small screw details. OK, in the wooden partition. So like, this is uh, not like rocket. It's, it's, it's very easy to create the content OK, with the model. Then he started like posting on LinkedIn. Now, what the people will do, the companies, people, they will start like noticing. Right. They started noticing when I like what he is sharing. I think continuously you, sh you shared uh, just. Uh, I think five posts, right? Five posts you shared. So he just like shared five posts. So now what happens? You are building your own community. OK, yeah. for example, your own connections who knows you. So what happened is now after that he started like applying for the job. Then after that, like he is getting the responses. Why? Because the because the people like started noticing. Now, for example, when I messages me, I know who is he. Right. So like I will reply him. So these things like uh, from the starting level of training. OK, uh, we guide. So you need to just implement these things. Yeah. OK. So what is your yeah. other experience? Yeah, it's, you can add. Yeah, that. I joined uh, uh, May time, May 2022. I joined mm -hmm. in uh, this coaching. Mm -hmm. Since then, uh, I just uh, stayed in touch with uh, the sir and uh, mm -hmm. he even guided me in all the tool tests and all. Uh, even in the midnight of 130, we talked mm -hmm. uh, how to do the things and all. I used to clear mm -hmm. my doubt. And he used mm -hmm. to be uh, he used to guide me in the night time also means he, mm -hmm. he used to be very busy means he's taking six uh, sessions uh, mm -hmm. even then he used to guide me means. like mm -hmm. uh, one day he guided me at uh, night 130 mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and we were in video call like for half an hour so he, he will definitely guide you and uh, my lecture was uh, completed two or three months back even then he used to guide you definitely means you'll get a good assistant so mm-hmm. just follow his uh, uh, classes and be sincere and uh, build a good portfolio you will definitely get a good paying job yeah mm-hmm. the thing is uh, you are getting uh, you are getting the good content if you are yeah. any from anywhere like if you are getting good content you should show the technical details in the model because what is happening maybe i guess here lot of like people are civil engineers even you are civil engineer mm-hmm. okay i am also yeah, civil engineer okay. we civil engineers instead of focusing on details what we do is we focus on developing the design that is where we are like okay yeah. is this my point mm-hmm. is correct yeah yeah i'm here. just uh, mm-hmm. scrolling the in linkedin and uh, just watching mm-hmm. that i have created this 2 bhk house and all my first beam project that, that's all wrong <laughs> means uh, you'll not get any recognition after that you have to mm-hmm. create like if you are creating 2 2 bhk house or any houses or anything you have mm-hmm. to show the details means just uh, mm-hmm. create a section and show the details uh, how it is made what sort of the materials it is having show the schedules and all then only you ca- you will have this uh, recognition and all means mm-hmm. you have to show that uh, how i am using this beam thing in my revit project Mm-hmm. yeah like so some lods and all like uh, if you are creating a model so then so it that it is made up of lod 300 or lod 350 mm-hmm. so each and every detail you just made this type of things uh, mm-hmm. one or two project if you'll so the good details you you'll get good recognition and also create some uh, good families like all the parameters just so them you can also show the basic families or if you can do that once it will be very good for you only mm. yeah that is the main important thing so why the company hired uh because he created the details and that's what the company needs because nowadays every business is going into very details okay if, uh, mm. if the company is doing the work in details then that company also will get uh, some recognition so in the same way now the company needs you to do the details but what uh, the problem is happening because i see sometimes in the linkedin the candidates uh, okay they are you know, developing the model and they do render in okay some other like softwares and some they'll create some videos yeah. regularly even after if we say like this is not correct okay especially uh, i mean for the civil engineers if we say this is not correct yeah. focus on details sometimes they will not listen they will again uh, they try mm-hmm. to regularly upload okay the interior rendering videos so we yeah. need to check here the rendering is not an, it is only for the presentation purpose the main important thing is model whatever is the model you are creating that model bim model okay that is technically correct or wrong because we know like yeah. that model will be only utilized throughout the life cycle of a project okay and we need to like, know like how much important it is for a project to reduce the cost and time okay so these things are there but now anyways when mm-hmm. i he got how many jobs he had got yeah i cracked four yeah. interviews and four uh, interviews. i collected mm-hmm. means i was getting everywhere like 30000 and mm-hmm. here only i was getting more so i selected this You're getting almost double okay <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, main thing is like uh, when you will uh, get recognized and uh, when you will sit for the interview the mm-hmm. candidates are lacking in the interface only like uh, uh, if for, if i'll tell you about my experience like in one company uh, they just asked about the interface of uh, revit mm-hmm. they didn't ask me any other thing just asked uh, they asked me about the interface like door will come into which category means uh, where these things are where these things are like this type means only in interface they will trick you so mm-hmm. just prepare first for the in, uh, interface of revit like mm-hmm. where which thing is and uh, if the properties is not there uh, by chance it will hide so how mm-hmm. you can uh, take it what is the shortcut mm-hmm. and all means just go through each and every uh, section of the revit like uh, interface i am talking about and uh, the parameters they will uh, it's a common question means wherever you will go just they will ask 
what is parameters how many type of parameters it's the is the common question for me in all the interviews like then they will ask what is shared parameters and that what is a the type parameters what is instance so just they will uh, know, want to know this difference if we will give this i mean this is the most common question in all interviews i want to say mm-hmm. so just prepare this question the interface of rival mm-hmm. many type of holes right? like stacked wall and all they will ask what the mm-hmm. shortcut and all yeah mm-hmm. yeah so uh, like uh, you mean like every company uh, did they ask about bim or just uh, private software uh, they they have asked me in the like uh, in mixed like first they have asked me the revit interface and what are the parameters and all then they came into bim fundamentals like what is bep what is uh, eir mm-hmm. yeah these are uh, fundamentals they will ask what is lods and uh, can you means they asked me about the difference how you can uh, specify the difference mm-hmm. yeah basically it was a mixed question the fundamentals and the revit software okay so uh, uh, in the current company right for the current company. what no no this question is asked by the current company or the yeah yeah. The, yeah yeah current company also and in the mm-hmm. uh, all the other companies also it was all common all other, means yeah. all the other companies also asked about what is bim and all yeah what is the fundamentals and uh, the, this thing first they will just ask what is bim the full full form and what it is just yeah. basically they will ask this thing then yeah. they will come to revit and all. also they will uh, ask if it's eir and bp is also very common question mm-hmm. what is eir and what is bp and all of these is a common question mm-hmm. yeah they will ask it definitely mm-hmm. yeah so even uh, this happened like previously one candidate uh, he was getting a call from a us based company so for him okay. they asked like what is bim first question so he answered mm-hmm. like he said like bim is a process like as soon mm-hmm. as he said like bim is a process the company is talking they said like yeah. we are taking interviews from india lot of candidates are attending but you are the first person who said bim is a process process <laughs> a lot of other candidates they said bim is revit bim is a software but now okay. i think uh, i see most of the in most of the places but now i guess uh, this misconception you know misconception is like going out okay now yeah. the people are having some clarity yes. so any other suggestions from your side yeah uh, uh, i mean i, I will uh, just tell you about the interview process means mm-hmm. uh, when you will recognize and just uh, they will have a quick call means they will just ask some basic question that this guy is suitable for further uh, interviews or not mm-hmm. uh, only in that they will select for the next round so mm-hmm. the basic question they will ask in phone call only that you know what is bim and uh, yes. what is your experience and all then uh, they will uh, uh, means give you a next round like uh, it will be a proper interview about mm-hmm. this revit then in that uh, they will uh, ask about all the uh, questions regarding bim and uh, this revit thing then if you will clear this thing then they will give you a tool test mm-hmm. uh, for the their company and uh, if you will pass the tool test then it will be like third round will be hr round yeah mm-hmm. this all the, for round. this round mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. hr round and uh, again the salary negotiation it will be like. mm-hmm. yeah okay so how did you like negotiated your salary uh actually uh, i was in homeland company like but i was not an interior designer or anything i was in site means yeah. there is no any relation between the bim and there so yeah. uh, i am actually fresher for this company like uh, yeah. bim things uh, so i i tried to negotiate like i was getting this much of salary in previous company so i want this much like that but uh, my com- um, uh, based on my skills and uh, my portfolio and all they have took me like experienced guy mm-hmm. and uh, uh, they i mean directly gave me this salary without asking anything uh, mm-hmm. i tried to negotiate above this also but they denied <laughs> mm-hmm. so I, i was happy then also yeah. basically you said like uh, see you will get the salaries based on skills okay and your yeah, knowledge that is the main important. even they, they were impressed by my uh, portfolio like when he called mm-hmm. 
uh, mm-hmm. he, he was telling me that uh, i got very impressed by your uh, this uh, portfolio then only mm-hmm. we talked yeah mm-hmm. yeah it is this, this uh, yeah you can share this screen uh what portfolio thing okay if you are able to show it's good yeah yeah i'll see is it visible hello yeah my yeah yes, you can yes, uh, yes it is okay so this is my mm-hmm. it's visible now yeah yeah visible yes so, this is uh, i did freelancing project in the rabbit family also means uh, meanwhile i was uh, trying to get any job i just get this uh, freelancing project from his railways company and they give me 25 families uh, uh, for uh, means i have to create it in only 5 days means uh, i was just uh, searching job and then i got this family creation for freelancing then i did this 25 families in only 4 to 5 days and uh, these are the things i i put it only 4 to 5 like first one is traditional windmill uh, it was parametric like only height is changing here like see mm-hmm. and i mentioned this uh, formula also mm-hmm. uh, what what is material what is uh, height and all i mentioned mm-hmm. the second is this b hill and uh, mm-hmm. it is also fully parametric like uh, height and all base height this uh, mm-hmm. the internal things it's all changing with the parameters so this is these are the formulas formula mm-hmm. the third is barrel it was the most tough for me like mm-hmm. it uh, array is working here array family array parameter yeah i put it the formula here then it was a formal tool means three type i have created like pitch fork solvel and this rake in one family mm-hmm. means you just mm-hmm. click uh, here type name it is written so if i click here and change it to shovel it will change so okay. i i created some visibility for this like if mm-hmm. i select this the visibility of uh, only this rake will be visible not which for can solve so i created like this three pa- mm-hmm. three uh, things in one so uh, i have mentioned only four things in he- here but i created 25 families there so i've mm-hmm. done some project with lods i have written like uh, mm-hmm. see it's a, a partition wooden partition so lod 200 mm-hmm. it will look like this and uh, like lod 300 it is and it will so uh, it will have some dimension all lod 350 i showed uh, some internal partitions like aluminum frame and all and it's some mdf board outside and uh, for lod 400 i showed this all the screws and all so this type of details you have to put in your portfolio uh, this all are the bim related things and uh, so this uh, this is the project which sayed sir gave about the tool test means entire details he wanted in this uh, project so i created all the details here like this uh, each and every detail uh, we have mentioned in this project and the second thing, this is the uh, my first project means uh, i was a part of this project like i modeled the, some uh, rivers and all mm-hmm. current developers for that it's a apartment it was an apartment here yeah. and uh, some tool test which i have given for different companies which uh, i also mentioned in this project like uh, it was a uh, one company they have given me this tool test uh, which i have mentioned here yeah like see this details they wanted and like given like uh, this is uh, above gypsum above ceiling level mm-hmm. it is having gypsum uh, with al- aluminum frame and below the ceiling level it is different and uh, mm-hmm. all the skirting is also there it uh, basically it is a room and uh, all the four side wall it is uh, i made all the four side this mm-hmm. the six person room see in the also it is 
the glass partition it was like yeah yeah there was that as well the professor and also created set those partition and it is also a, a tool test which i have given for different companies they have asked me for structure so i created for the, for that company the tool test mm -hmm. I, i also got selected for this company yeah. the flange and all joist uh, it was earlier means when i didn't know all about this bim what i used to do is like these things like rendering just creating and rendering before knowing this beam and all i was doing this type of thing so i put it this thing also like just uh, creating and rendering <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. seeing myself like i am a beam modeler <laughs> this type of all i did beam modeler or designer yeah yeah i Maybe. designed it uh, earlier earlier when i i didn't know about this beam thing and all mm -hmm. so i put it it also mm -hmm. renders and all yeah yes. so it is nothing if you will create like this type of thing you will not get selected you have to show all these details yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah i think the uh, yeah so you can maybe keep your camera on oh. Hello. not visible right yeah you are not visible no worries so i think okay. it is good like when i uh, you shared your experience and definitely mm -hmm. i think it will create some impact on the people yeah. okay who, like who are searching for job mm -hmm. uh regularly i'm planning uh, this things like every weekend to have like uh, a career you know this is series so in line like i have two more candidates uh, who can guide one or okay. like one more candidate we can have three candidates still so one candidate like uh, who doubled his salary okay even he was working in bim like after joining okay. this training sir coaching like they have uh, in this very less amount they are uh, teaching in depth knowledge like uh, okay. if you will do it sincerely like you'll get definitely like a job yeah yes sincerely uh, we need to do everything by making ourselves sincere otherwise yeah yeah so that is okay i guess uh, so i think uh, the people maybe they'll have some questions for you okay no so all of you like if you have any questions with vinay you can unmute and you can ask like one by one Hi Vinay. Yeah, hi. How are you? How is it going? Fine. What about you? I'm Vinay. Uh, your uh, voice is yeah. not. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in terms of the uh, interview preparation. <coughs> okay. Uh, what, uh, what did you put first? Uh, I mean. Where where did you start uh, to prepare for the interviews? I mean, from the fundamentals or uh, from uh, modeling itself? Actually, uh, I have not prepared anything. Means I just watched my recorded class, which uh, I have attended from this uh, sir. Uh, it was uh, more than enough. Like uh, uh, I get all the means. There is no any questions which is uh, which comes uh, means. Uh, outside from the classes it's all from classes only means the fundamentals b p e i r they have, uh, he only taught me like what is b p what is e i r and how to just answer the question of bim like bim is a process not a software like you will get a smart uh, answer for this so only uh, i learned from the sayed sir only i have not put in my extra effort from outside i just uh, uh, what my uh, recorded lesson lessons again and again that's how i did nothing uh, another than that uh, he is asking uh, like uh, 
how many like efforts you put on modeling and how many efforts you put on like uh, being fundamental part okay okay uh, uh, it was means modeling was more not uh, fundamental is not like that like 70% uh, i put it in the modeling part and 30% in the fundamental part mm-hmm. maybe yeah. you're asking like whether we need to go for beam fundamentals on those is it like no, important both you have to both the things are important you'll get the question from both things yeah mm-hmm. okay so you know the platform that is ready to switch changing i mean uh हेलो विनय Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you like it how many months it took to crack the first job interview after the training? Uh yeah, yeah, after training means I was not uh, sincere for the entire training means I was doing my other job like uh, from homeland I uh, I was in homeland. So uh, I means I was getting the time but I was not sincere. Uh, honestly uh, I'll tell you that I was not sincere. uh then after completion of course uh, i started uh, i mean doing these things like practicing and all so i uh, again started the uh, uh, learning this recorded lecture which i have uh, recorded then uh, uh it's been means only 3 months okay. when i got uh, sincere and uh, uh, when i updated my portfolio uh, it took me only 1 month means not one month also like 15 to 20, after 15 to 20 days i uh, was getting some calls after updating my portfolio i was learning just learning but i, I have uh, like when i started from the scratch first lesson i started again then after 3 months i started uh, applying for the job and uh, uh, when i was not getting any recognition then i uh, just sat and uh, th- thought about this like uh, what uh, i was liking so i found that my portfolio is not good and even the cv you have to be um, you have to make an attractive cv yeah cv and portfolio after that you will get uh, the calls you know okay yeah yeah and during the interview do, do they ask about navy's work because it's also a part of bin so yeah, do they yeah, ask yeah. but uh, i have applied for the, all the fresher level jobs so they okay. will only need this revit things first so they will ask only uh, the basic thing in the navis work but uh, they haven't asked me anything about navis work and all just they ask me about uh, this revit and uh, i mentioned it like autocad i know so they have uh, questioned me about some autocad question apart from this all are the fun- bim fundamental questions yeah so basically they ask only about the revit any other software yeah, yeah. if you will mention in your cv that i know this software this software so they will ask if they will know the interviewer if uh, he will know that he will definitely ask you some questions regarding those softwares like if you will put in your cv yeah i just want to add one point basically whatever you show in the cv as per your interest only they will ask the questions yeah. okay and uh, uh, you can maybe only focus on revit but navis works is very small software it is only for 10 to 12 yeah. classes mm-hmm. 10 to 12 hours but revit revit will go till 100 hours okay yeah. so revit navis works is also like an important thing to get the responsibilities from the company basically if you join a company you should get the responsibilities then only you will grow okay if you are not getting responsibilities then uh, if you are not having work on for example navis if you show like you are having knowledge on navis definitely they will give you the work right so in yeah. terms of that 
it will help you and if you have knowledge in multiple skills the company will be having advantage okay mm-hmm. then they hire you. one one person is only having knowledge only in revit other person is having knowledge in bim bim fundamental revit navis works so definitely the company will hire the second candidate not the first yeah and the providing so the I, same salary i have also yeah i have also mentioned all the things about navis work and all but my strong uh, my, uh, my strong part is revit only so they have mm-hmm. questioned me in the Revi- regarding revit only yeah they have not questioned me about navis i know about navis work and all but they haven't asked me about this i have learned in the coaching only this uh, sayed sir coaching hello yes yeah So any other questions? Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Vinay. Hi. Can you can you please can you please tell me tell about uh, uh, your portfolio or CV? Uh, which type of points uh, we should have to input in that? Yeah, I just showed you know my portfolio. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 joined late, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah, I Sorry just showed. Uh, no, no worries. He will share you the recording lecture also. They are recording this entry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, is there any Hello? other? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Vinay. Am I audible? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Tell me. Hello, Vinay. Am I audible? Uh, your voice is breaking. Bro. Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah. You're on. Ha. Uh, I just wanted to ask that uh, during the tool test, what all uh, things they asked uh, as a fresher? So, what all the things they asked you in a tool test? Themes uh, yeah. like uh, to create families or whatever. Uh, how yeah, you I showed you my portfolio that, that I have. Uh, yeah, I have showed you in the portfolio only that I mm-hmm. I got this tool test and I uh, actually uh, you can download it from uh, my LinkedIn profile also. My portfolio. I have mentioned it. Like they have just given me one uh, room and uh, they wanted to uh, create some uh, walls uh, detail. Yeah. nothing more than uh, be easy not this hard that hard this question is for sayed sir sir uh, i wanted to ask that if we enroll for the course so will we get the recording lectures uh, uh recording recorded lectures do that all even i say like you can do the recordings and you can keep it yourself to like study for the future okay uh, we, we have to do ourselves uh, will not get from your end yeah 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 because this is open you can do it there's no problem yes uh, any other questions we have for the job guidance and all hello vinay yeah hi i just uh, wanted to ask that uh, after completion of the course uh okay what's the process that uh, you will find the vacancies and job re- regarding your relevant uh, position uh, of like mm-hmm. bim model or bim designer so on mm-hmm. linkedin or somewhere is there any lead from where you got this uh it means if you uh, what i did is uh, in linkedin i used to re- request the hrs of different companies this is the first thing you have to do like don't add any random guy just add the relevant uh, peoples like i used to focus on hr of different companies i used to connect with them and uh, when i get notified that this company is having any vacancies and all so in the linkedin only i got to know about this companies and all so i used to just directly uh, uh, apply from there only in the linkedin itself i got this job yeah but uh, how direct like, nowadays we see 
for freshers like uh, the companies are not posting so much did you saw like yeah. any uh, when you like what like applying for the job did you saw any like post related to fresher for me it is question yeah for for you when from my side yeah. okay okay, okay maybe yes, means sure. uh, mean the employees means like team lead my team lead uh, posted this uh, this uh, job about this job and i mm-hmm. i was connected with him only so i got to know mm-hmm. about him only like yeah mm-hmm. even he used to say that um, uh, we want this uh, this much of number of bim models or what you can post in your linkedin profile also he used to uh, mm-hmm. do uh, used to say like this mm-hmm. you have to connect with different people who are in companies mm-hmm. yeah yeah we do this mistake while using linkedin we add like very irrelevant connections yeah yeah that's yeah. a problem later it will become <laughs> it will become our like time pass social media platform yeah, yeah. that will be the yeah, yeah. so we should add only relevant uh, only related to bim because if you search bim uh, mm. and the people related to bim i think you will find more than 6 lakh people yeah at, yeah at least we can make 10000 connections 5000 connections mm. at least so there are those how many connections you have on linkedin uh it's 500 connection i guess i don't have okay. that much 500 plus i have mm-hmm. but uh, all are the relevant one only relevant. so some are company hr or some the uh, working on mm-hmm. companies and all so even i used to go in your uh, profile and uh, used to connect some relevant uh, people okay yeah there is no because nowadays we see the company openly if they post they will mention like one to minimum one year one year of experience they need yeah okay uh, that is okay one yeah, year means then, it's a fresher mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. if there is two or three years of experience you can also uh, uh, apply for those job because if you mm-hmm. are having that good skill and uh, matchable skill then you will definitely get mm-hmm. that job even in this mm-hmm. company which i have placed they have asked for two to three years of experience but i mm-hmm. applied there mm-hmm. yeah yeah this is also a very good point because uh, whenever we see if a company is hiring for 2 to 3 years of experience we neglect that mm. but uh, we should remember like uh, i know lot of people who are working in the industry okay even though sometimes they don't know about what is bim okay but as a fresher yeah. you know about bim and you know proper methodology then definitely in the place of like 2 years of experience if we have the good skills mm-hmm. they will hire so there is also a good point that you can apply for a 2 to 3 years experience position also if you build your yeah. portfolio in a such a way then maybe you will get okay the response is get some good point yeah so any other questions uh hi vinay yeah hi ah uh, so uh, as you mentioned in your uh, earlier slide that uh, you uh, do uh, this many things like uh, freelancing work and all apart from this yeah. uh, do you get any uh, do you get any uh, hands on experience on projects from the classes only oh what the yeah yeah in the, in the classes only we made three projects like live practice projects project. or uh, mm-hmm. the, no, it was not live project it was practice project like uh it so was in scratch level, scratch uh, so we did uh, uh, three things in the project like and for the first project was very basic and that second project was intermediate and the third project was very difficult <laughs> so in this uh, way uh, we uh, learned can you uh, mention uh, what type of the projects you did like uh, uh, industrial in or uh, uh, yeah in the coaching in the coaching yeah yeah first it was residential project then it was okay. uh, the other two was commercial project yeah, it was very big project like third one is uh, uh, entire corporate uh, field uh, corporate model I, we have to model the third project was i don't know okay, what I the want, project is giving i want one. to add one point i think you have not completed that right yeah yeah it was uh, okay. but i have started but not completed mm, this it also was, happens uh, because yeah i give the projects but uh, the problem is the uh, the overall major candidates they will not complete the projects mm-hmm. that is the problem where you people will lie where from wherever you do the training that is not a problem but if yeah. you are getting the chance of working on projects then 
you can take that advantage if you have created that complete project which is a big one corporate interior type that will create a more impact on your portfolio mm-hmm. okay mm. so this is also like uh, a point we need to add yeah that is when nowadays i'm not giving the projects project files okay, okay if you complete the first project then you will get the second mm. Okay. Like okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Simply, if I am giving the files, you you will keep into your PC. Uh, some mm-hmm. candidates are like not working on the project. Then what is the use of like giving you the projects and explaining mm-hmm. on the projects? Okay. Yeah. Uh, as yes, we go yeah. on a uh, daily basis, uh, like uh, every industry is uh, moving to agile methodologies and all. Uh, so, uh, did you uh, take any classes on? Uh, like uh, mm, automating things and all so can you please share about this hello hello you are asking me or sayed sir uh sayed sir Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Uh, as the industries are going agile, they yeah. want people who can automate the things. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you teach those uh, skills uh, also, or uh, like only BIM fundamentals and all this? See, uh, basically, it's a good point. See, agile means uh, we are the uh we can break the projects into multiple small small okay steps and we can uh, complete like uh, we have different stages of the projects maybe in that way okay so uh in the training you will get an idea of the automation part okay like for example dynamo but see overall things we cannot teach but uh we'll try to create your mindset in a such a way that the automation thing is also there in being for example if you want to do a task in just maybe one day we can just maybe finish that one in just few seconds and the companies will look for those kind of uh, like, uh, like like of candidates also so everything uh, like we cannot teach into just one course it is uh, difficult to adopt uh, by the candidates also but we'll give the idea like this kind of like automation kind of like tools are coming up in terms of data in terms of like modeling in terms of like uh, we can say uh, the things to be like the tasks to be automated in terms of like documentation and other things so you will get an idea about these things okay but uh, you need to work from that part okay because nowadays lot of tools are coming up so like and all of these these tools are like small small things we need to adapt okay. uh, yes uh definitely sir uh, and uh, how many uh, candidates you take for one uh, session like uh, is there uh, any criteria like uh, i will take only 10 people uh, who can attend my classes like uh, 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 we want uh, quality not quantity so that is why i'm asking <laughs> Okay, I guess I think uh, for the training uh, de- uh, details and all, we can have a personal discussion. Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, this session is related to you know the career guidance and job guidance for those who can interact with Vinay. And for me also, if you have any question related to jobs and for training, we can have a separate discussion. There's no problem. Okay. And what is the market uh, outside like? Uh... Uh, mm-hmm. uh companies are uh, in the earlier phase of this uh, adoption so did mm-hmm. they uh, hire like uh, uh, did you get my point what i'm trying to asking you uh, it mm-hmm. is early stage for them also companies also so mm-hmm. are they trying to invest uh, in a resources like us mm-hmm. uh, who are freshers or uh, having one or one year experience on site and uh, they can uh, uh, take uh, us as a uh uh useful resource for their companies so mm-hmm. what is the market outside 
as we don't have any uh, knowledge about outside market so mm-hmm. can you uh, tell us about uh, more about it yeah. in india I means lots of companies will be there like if they are starting in the indian level so they will start from the scratch only maybe all the companies are in intermediate level only i guess mm-hmm. is there uh, yeah that means uh, your company is also at intermediate level so yeah, yeah, lot of yeah. like other companies are also hmm. i'll tell you one thing just nowadays sir, what is happening is a, what yeah it is sir what i've learned from my colleague experience i uh, mean there are very less uh, vacancies to uh, automation professionals hmm. then we should learn first revit or bin uh then clear as a concept then go for the automation basically what the young uh people are uh, g- going for the automation directly will not help i guess mm-hmm. yeah that is a right point like uh, muni bhi want to add one thing here like directly don't go for automation first uh, we should be learning what bim is okay how revit works and everything okay what are the engineering details that is the main important thing because if you are like using the software but if you don't know the engineering part then it is uh, not good so he, he added one point here don't go for directly automation first learn what bim is then you can go so as per the market scenario i see like uh, even i am not pitching anything for indian uh, markets okay uh, but i heard from some of the people like who are you know started their own companies and they are just starting to pitch uh, for the projects so from the client side only they are getting the requirement for bim look in india i heard like that for the big projects not for the small kind of projects okay so, so so the client will only say you to like man like we need in bim we don't want okay anything like in a traditional way so that is the kind of market it is becoming so bim is like becoming you know like more common uh, nowadays for the clients also okay is this okay for you hello Shabhan? thank ah uh, yes sir yes. Okay. for more queries i will hello question. yeah yes yes hello uh, am i audible yeah you yes, yes, yes. uh, uh, this question is for vinay i wanted to ask that uh, what kind of uh, means like work you do in a common company you joined from me na so uh, as a bim modeler what are the responsibilities you carry out in the company you mainly work on which softwares like revit or like recap or like existing or new yeah, construction yeah. these all things yeah i am working in uh, revit software only i got your question uh-huh. uh, we are working in the revit software only and uh, with this uh, different software like navis work and all but the main software is uh, revit only with that autocad yes. is also there but i am uh, only working on revit like i am working mm-hmm. on this architectural model and the revit family creation and with that also they have uh, given time uh, for the learning of electrical things so i am learning here all the things related to be not only the so it is a, and all. Oh, so it is a, a new construction or existing new only means the, uh, it's a interior based company so it will be uh, after uh, builder uh, handover we will work in this because uh, the phases which i'm talking about is as built point cloud point cloud or uh, new construction paper to beam or cat to beam okay, like new construction it is um, not new construction no? yeah yeah okay so he got job in some uh, designing company like interior designing company so where uh, they are doing the projects from the scratch level yeah so the company you work is a startup like it started early or is a old company like it's a old company old company only na yeah thank you uh, what is the culture of your company like uh, uh... can you differentiate between uh, as a site engineer and as a beam modeler uh, what is the, what are the changes uh, you see in your uh, daily routine or uh, like 
this routine like it is a office job means you have to do in the office only no need to and site and all but it is a work from home or a... no no it's Because not work as from you mention your company is a us based right no no i haven't mentioned like that okay okay sorry so okay no problem okay and you get a uh, saturday sunday off or a... yeah it's a saturday sunday off five days okay. yeah yeah okay okay, okay. thank you Hel- thank. hello vinay okay. yeah hello hi. uh in yeah. your job role like you have to do only modeling or you have to do the, do the co- coordination part also like how yeah we have we used to coordinate now means uh, the meaning of bim is also means coordination is the main thing So we used uh, to uh, work with uh, coordinations only. Like, yeah, coordination uh, with like MEP or... team or? Yeah, yeah, MEP team. Even I am working in with MEP also, like MEP okay. and private family creation. Uh, with the collaboration only, you can do this whole things. Okay, it's not just like modeling. You have to do the coordination. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yes, sir. Hello. Sir, I want to ask you, what is the future of being in uh, adding salary? What is the matter? Uh, it will. Yeah, yeah. You can talk in Hindi also. No problem. Hello. So I think this uh, question is for Vinay. I think uh, Sayed sir only can give the good answer for this. The future of them and all. No, you also. You are also part of industry now. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you can also. But in Indian level, it will be very futuristic. Like uh, after three to four years, you will get more and more jobs regarding them. Mm-hmm. Even now, uh, if you open the LinkedIn, if you have relevant uh, connections, then you can find many jobs. Means even uh, I used to scroll LinkedIn daily in the morning only. So I used to go through like lots of job openings in entire India only. So, if you will have good uh, skills regarding this, you will definitely get good job. Uh, At least you can start one... your career in them. Okay, I just want to add one point. Previously, I discussed with one uh, one company uh, owner. Uh, he also like started. He said like uh, in few years, okay, lot of jobs mm-hmm. will be there for them in India, but there will be you know less resources available. Okay. okay because nowadays in the core fields uh, you know there are less admissions for civil engineering and mechanical electrical so he said like for the yeah. future it is going to be a problem the jobs mm-hmm. will be more but the resources will be less okay he yeah. demand and supply so, will be disbalanced uh, uh, it will be a problem because uh, as your company is also adopting bim lot of other companies yeah. are also started like you know adopting bim So in future mm-hmm. the resources sir, will sir, be less. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so your voice is not uh, audible. Be, uh, there will be no game professionals, right? No, uh, not able to hear you properly. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Ah, uh, you, you are telling uh, it will uh, there will be less resources. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there will be shortage of uh, being professional, right? Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah, uh, yeah, shortage. Not me, but the the company owner, like who started the company, he said uh, he predicted like that. He said like for the future, like the jobs will be more, but the resources means the candidates will be less to work in them. Okay, but he said like that. But we don't know because. Uh, by maybe he said this uh, situation came in the you know last year the admissions were ne- were not there in the college maybe he said to that point but maybe we'll be having uh, because lot of like uh, other candidates also switching into bim like site engineers quantity surveys they are also switching so we cannot like put it exactly he has said i think you uh, you have mentioned a very uh, right point uh, because mm-hmm. many of the people uh, are switching into it industries and um, mm-hmm. like uh, they don't want to uh, work uh, in this uh, work culture because uh, we get a uh, very low salaries and all we we know uh, everything like uh, what happens in our industry uh, 
uh and uh, i have uh, contacted uh, with uh, one person okay. he also told mm-hmm. me like uh, he, uh, in this condition uh, we have a less uh, amount of uh, people who are working uh, beam industry and uh, mm-hmm. we also have uh, the uh, minimum uh, openings right now but in the future mm-hmm. uh, there will be uh, more openings uh, but the candidates uh, who will uh, uh, uh no beam uh, they were uh, less durable so yeah. i think uh, you have mentioned a very right point mm mm-hmm. yeah, hi vinay uh, yeah first of all congratulations yeah, to you for getting the thank you. in the job i have a doubt thank that you. In, you are joining no, an intermediate you, company okay in intermediate companies which level of development drawings they will do can you please yeah, elaborate they are trying to achieve uh, this all only three i also don't know about much because i have just joined it's been one month only so i also don't know about much so i can't uh, give you a exact answer about this okay okay like i'm uh, working on the family and all i haven't uh, met this thing like which alodi they are working in all okay thank you and mr sayed can you yes. please tell me in which intermediate level companies will do the level of development drawings like lod 350 or lod 400 like that thank you yeah okay so i think uh, when i he joined the design consultant okay so there uh, maybe they will do up to lod 300 okay or 350 so maximum maybe they will do up to 3 300 only so it depends upon the whether the company is contracting whether the company is you know the bim consultant or the company is design consultant it's it varies for a design consultant they can do up to 300 for a contractor they can do up to 500 but as a bim consultant if the for example when a company they don't have any bim team they can hire a separate bim firm where this bim consultant can assist them in lod like you know 300 for the contractors also the bim consultant can assist okay it depends okay thank you uh hello vinay hello hi hi sorry it was a uh, wifi issue hello okay yeah hi yeah uh vinay before getting this job uh, how many mm-hmm. hours did you practice uh, in a day yeah in my that uh, freelancing project i used to work like uh, 14 to 15 hours for the 5 to 6 days i work 5 uh, 15 to 16 hours but uh, okay. uh, in my regular uh, work like to uh, only 4 to 5 hours i used to do like not more than that okay yeah yeah i got it thank you okay thank you okay. i think uh, oh, hello. yeah hello yeah yes i have one question Uh, okay. did you get your uh, freelancing what what hello yeah uh, where me. did you get your freelancing uh i used to make I explore I in, yeah yeah means uh, there is one group bim professional where i just uh, posted that i am looking for job and all so one guy just uh, text me from that group only that uh, are you working or not uh, you, you know the family creation or not uh, directly he gave me the project Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is lots of BIM groups you can join there. In the LinkedIn or? Hello. No, no, in WhatsApp group I join. You can also get from LinkedIn if you will try. But focus on uh, job only, not on the freelancing and all. Hello, hello, Vino. Yeah, yeah. I am searching. beam field and i'm in mumbai so there are not many okay. jobs in beam right as i am going okay. through and to mm-hmm. so is the future growth of beam matlab there will be more number of jobs and what is growth yeah, in terms in of selling days, yeah in upcoming days like it will be more and more like jobs will be. and uh, like uh, nowadays you can see in your uh, college also like no one is taking civil engineering and all and all are going for it and all so there will be a demand and supply gap in the upcoming future 
means uh, jobs will be more and uh, resources will be less so and even now all the civil uh, engineers are uh, switching their jobs to it But so guess, definitely uh, it will it be less. good uh, future now i guess it is less for it because of the job losses yeah. there are no jobs mm-hmm. for freshers but still everyone is choosing computer science nowadays just because of like the yeah. it boom Mm, they cho- mm-hmm. they choose already <laughs> yeah <laughs> but next year uh, maybe it will change i think yeah uh, because i think there are more openings in uh, it job people mm-hmm. can find uh, yeah, even in bain field there is lots of opening there are lots of openings in bain also precious it is uh, difficult okay. yeah that's what i'm saying anyways i think uh, maybe we took like one and a half hour from vinay yeah i think it is uh, uh, i think we can wind up okay yeah, yeah. tell me yeah uh, okay sir sir I'm, one last question for vinay yeah hello okay okay nice. hello vinay yeah yeah tell me uh, I wanted to ask that where is your hometown and is you relocated to Bangalore for job or uh, yeah, how like you I'm stay there in Bangalore? I am basically from Chhattisgarh, Bilai, Bilai, Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh. Okay. I am relocated okay. to Bangalore. Yeah. Okay. So the company is providing yeah. you food accommodation and everything or uh, no 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 but, no 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 just they are giving uh, the salary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay. Sir, yes. say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, I I want to ask one thing. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sir, I know a I know a company who are working only on markups, and they want mm-hmm. two years of bond. So mm-hmm. should I join or not? Hmm. This is also. <laughs> Uh, sometimes uh, maybe it's a problem okay because uh, you know it depends upon the uh, which type of company you are getting and uh, this is an open question like uh, because of these things some candidates uh, you know it will be a problem for their career okay so you can join there but uh, for the long term it is not good okay and parallelly you should be developing your other other skills also okay for the sake of job it is okay but parallelly you can learn the things and you can maybe okay check for best, better opportunity and also he put his efforts yeah, to thank you answer his questions no worries thank you sir uh, yeah. yeah welcome thank you vinay also i can uh, all the best for your you know future uh, thank you sir. career thanks and all Okay, Thanks. we will uh, yeah. meet again. We have this group only, especially for these kind of like series where we can, you know, guide the people in a good way. Okay, so we will maybe meet again uh, next week or maybe like in a month, uh, once in a month or twice a month, month in a week again. Okay. So, anyways, thank you for joining. Okay. Let's close.